Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and this one is hopefully going to help you figure out this amazing tool right here. Yes, it looks like the fabricated pistol, but alas, it is not. It is actually the most, well, I guess second most, in my opinion, most useful tool that you can possibly have. Now, this guy is called, just so you can see it right here, your S Plus Multi-Tool, and this will make your life so much easier. You can learn this tool at level one if you have this mod unlocked. It only costs you one thatch. So what's it do? Now, it's got some crazy things about it. You can go to info if you really want to find out more, and uh, you can literally just do whatever you need to with it, um, and then click for info, and it'll tell you exactly how to use things. It's got some really neat functions to it, um, and it just allows you to do some really awesome things. So what can you really do that's so awesome? Why am I talking so much about this? You know what I'm talking about when you're trying to pick up something or demolish something and you got to go with like a Quetzal or go way up high in order to try and demo it. But insert gun here. Now you got two modes. Well, I guess three technically. You can demolish something and it'll literally demo it from a distance for you. See how it highlights it just like that and then it'll give you all the resources in your inventory. You can pick up internal mode if there's something inside of these, or you can just straight up pick it up. Now, sometimes you have to go in and out of the actual inventory for this guy in order to actually get it working, um, pick up mode wise, because sometimes you just have to literally do it that way. I don't know why. Sometimes you have to put it away and then pull it back out and it'll highlight things and allow you to pick those things up. But you have to have pickups available on your actual server. I do not have it on mine. So that's why you're not seeing that option. It would work just like this though, but you would pick up the actual thing. And instead of demoing it, it'll literally just take what, whatever's important and put it in your inventory, just like the whole structure itself. Now, the next thing, model. This is another really awesome thing. It's easier, in my opinion, to be able to like zoom in like you can see me do here. And you can left click and it'll actually give you the option and you can say, setting save, setting cleared, but left click will give you the option to change around this guy right here. And you can do whatever you want. You can say, hey, I want certain things visible or invisible. And this gun will allow you to do that. I'm gonna say, I don't want any sides on this or two sides, and that's what I want. I'll right click to save that and then I can apply it by left clicking and it saves you, literally just gives you the ability to make things appear certain ways and it saves you so much time and it's really useful because if you wanna make something look a certain way in your base, it's really, really nice to have. Now, that'll allow you to do all kinds of things. You can see that there are only certain things it works for um, and that's kind of just how it is, but you know, whatever. Now, glass mode, this is another awesome mode. This basically allows me to, clear settings and change the opaqueness of anything that is glass, which is included in the S plus mod. I can make it so it's completely opaque so you can't see through it. Or if I wanted to, I can make sure it's two way and then I can update that thing. But notice how I've actually made it opaque that way. We're gonna go ahead and update it so you can see through it. It allows you to literally change things into glass versus not glass. You can make some hilarious traps, some fun ideas and do some really neat stuff with this glass because you can turn it so if I was to go ahead and change this mode to model and I go ahead and say I don't want any sides, but then I take the glass and I go ahead and activate it and make it opaque, you can make it look like you have floating foundations and it's pretty neat because obviously you've just got this like floating floor, which is really awesome to have access to. There's some really neat things that you can do. Now, turret. This is the another incredibly useful things, especially for PvP. Now what you can do, just like the other modes, right click will clear and save things. Notice how it's saved, cleared. If you clear it, you can then activate specific things for turrets to shoot, to not shoot, to pick ranges, to give warnings, players only, whatever you want. You can exclude or include things. Let's say you don't want it to shoot turtles. You exclude turtles, whatever you want, exclude it and accept. Now, if you right click one more time, it'll save the settings from this. And whatever you click next or any number of things, notice how it's only high in survivors, none there. If I left click, it applies the settings from this one to this specific turret. Now that's really useful because obviously you're applying settings to specific turrets and it allows you to key in instead of just having a big group of turrets like they want you to do now, you can make specific things and turn them on, turn them off, however you want to do it, really useful. So now next thing, visibility. Um, you can see hide mode, show mode. This is for internal structure stuff. I don't really use it too much. 
dyno. This one's really awesome. If you have a specific dyno that you want to chibify, you can go tame anything in this game and turn it into a chibi. This is like one of my favorite things. So I'm going to go ahead and force tame this guy right here. Force tame. And then notice how I can chibify him. I added two chibi brontosauruses. And boop. There's my Brontosaurus. I can turn any dino into a chibi, and it becomes your chibi that you can activate right next to you. I have a Shadow Mane now, but if I was to place this guy there, I now have the Bronto chibi. And it keeps the colors and stuff too, which is really unique, obviously. Here's a Giga. We're going to go ahead and force tame this guy too, and we're going to chibify him. And then we have our chibi. Now, it's a really fun feature. I like it a lot. Notice how it keeps that same color of it. It just keeps the whatever you have there, and you can turn anything into a chibi. And But there's some awesome things that you can do outside of the dino mode. You can use claim, so you're claiming something, mating mode, whistles mode, following mode, wandering mode, creeping, and then set turret settings as well on them, which is really neat. Um, very useful to have access to this kind of stuff once you have a, obviously, once you have one of these to be able to use. Now, there's a few more things. Remote, this is something that I don't really deal with too much. There's activate mode, door mode, um, activate, deactivate. If you have something that is turnable on and off, you can deactivate it and then use it again to activate it. You can open up doors. You can do whatever you need for it. Um, it just allows you to do things from distance. You don't necessarily have to be up and close to it. Now, you can do repair mode. If you have enough stuff in your inventory, all you got to do is click on something. It'll actually repair it from a distance, which is really useful. If you have a tech light or any sort of S plus light, you can turn it on and off with this gun from a distance. This pillar is pretty cool as well. If you have a dynamic pillar, I'm going to go ahead and try and put this away. Why is it not going to snap for me? Okay, whatever. Cool. Don't snap for me. I didn't want you to snap anyways. Fine. Um, but you can literally change the length of pillars and stuff like that using this gun, and uh, it just allows you to click on it and do that for you. Now, vacuum obviously allows you to open, close, freeze, stasis, all kinds of those things with the tech vacuums, and it allows you to do all that kind of stuff. So a really useful tool that will save you hours and hours of time when it comes to the doing the grindy things in ARC, and it will just make your day so much better if you can figure out how to use this bad boy right here. So anyways, hopefully you get to trying to use it, especially if you haven't. If you're not a fan of mods, at least give this a check. Just add something like this to your server. Make yourself so much happier. Save yourself some time. And hopefully this helps you out. And other than that, teach out.